Okay, so in this video we'll go over how to create information, waiting and co confirm dialog. Uh, so let's start. This is a new project you started, so it will just have the basic layout for the main page, which will be like this. Uh, so first off, we in the library folder we will create a new class called dialogs. Uh, so in here we will import the material package to get all the components we will use. We will create a new class called dialogs. And for the first one we will create the information dialog. So we create a new class called information. We will take the build context, the title and a description for for the um, dialog. So first off, we return a show dialog component, which will take the context. And let's just format this for better readability. So you have the context, we will have a barrier dismissible. So this will either be true or false, so we can press outside or not of the dialog to close it down. We will set this to true uh, so this will make it so the information dialog we just have ok button so you can also press outside of it to close it down uh, so we create a builder with build context we return a alert dialog so inside the dialog you can always control press the component you're using, you can see what it will use. So it will use a title, content, and action. So let's start with the title. And here we will just create a new text with the title we passed in the parameter. And after that, we will create the content and we will create a single child scroll view with a list body. So inside here, we will have children and as the the only shout will create a text with the description that we also passed in. Uh, so this will have all the content, but we now need the, the action button, so the OK button. So we create action, we create the flat button, a unpressed. So what unpressed will do is just close down the, the dialog. We give it some text, set it to OK. So that will create the button or the dialog. So in here now we have to create a body and we just create a column because we'll have multiple buttons. And we put that in a row just to make this more readable. So space around. And here we can just place it in the middle, like that. So, as the child on the first, we will create a, a button. So let's create a race button. Uh, so in the race button, we will have a on pressed. Uh, let's see. Uh, we created, what, what did we create right now? We created the information, yeah. So first off, we will have the, the unpressed, which will be, let's just make it like this, so it's more readable. Uh, the dialog, oh yeah, we have to create the instance of the, the class first. So dialogs, alt enter to import the package, give the name, close that off. So now we can create a dialogs dot information. We give it a title. This is a title. And we give it a description. So this is the description. And that's all. You can also, if you want to, create an arrow. So you can have it on a one line. Uh, and the button also need a child. 
so for the text of the button. So let's give that a name. We can test that out. So here I have the, the dialogue and if we press it, we'll have the title that we passed in, the description, we can press outside and we can press inside. So let's go over to the next dialogue, which will be the waiting dialogue. So you create a new class called waiting or whatever you want to call it. We give it a string title again and we give it the description. So this one will be pretty much the same. So we start off with copying this. The waiting dialog will now have no buttons because it will close down after it's, after it's done. And we should not be able to press outside it to close. So we set that to false. And we go to main. Here we have the row with the first button. We create the second button. Waiting dialog. We call the waiting dialog. So this is the title, this description. So now the only thing you need to do differently is that this will just create a button that will not be able to close. So we have to create some custom code. So inside the unpressed, we call the, the dialog. And what we can do to simulate a waiting period is that we can use a future. So we alt enter to import data async. We take delayed duration seconds. We take two seconds. And after this is done, we want to await this. And alt enter again to import that to the, the sync. So here we want to close off the dialog. So after two seconds, we close it down. Control or hot reload again. So now we have the waiting dialog here also. So if we press that, it will create. We can press it side and after two seconds, it will close like that. So for the last, the, the, the last dialog, we'll create a more complex one. So the confirm dialog. So this dialog will have a a message or at we can we can have a title and description also uh, so we create a confirm class or confirm method let's just take all of this and open this up this will pr pretty much be the same as the information dialog so for now we just copy all of this we will have two buttons so we will not have an OK button. We will have a Yes button and we will have a Cancel button. So Cancel. And it should be dismissible, yes. And instead of navigate a pop on both of them, we will create a method. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Confirm. Um, confirm result. So if this uh, is called bool is yes, and we take the build context. So here we have the confirm result. So with the confirm result, we can use this here. So we have the is yes. So if we press, press cancel, it will be false. And the context, call it here also. also. But if we press yes, the bool is yes will be true. So if is yes is true, is true, we will print this out and say yes action. On else, if we press the cancel button, we will have the print, print yes action. On both of them, we we'll just for now just navigate the pop, and you can create your custom action in your project right there.
Okay, so in main, we copy this code, we create a new button called confirm dialog. And this will take in the same, so also title and description. Uh, we don't need an await, don't need a sync, and we don't need a pop. So we just call it like a normal, normal, a normal class or method. So we uh, hot reload that, and we can try it. So we open the dialog, and uh, we can press outside it to simulate the cancel, or that we want, I uh, don't, don't want to take an action. We press the cancel, and we can see we did something wrong. Uh, so. You still need to give it a name. So if yes, so cancel. So now it should work. If I press the cancel, it will print the cancel action. So if you press the yes, it press the yes action. Print yes action. So here you can do any of your custom actions. So you can go to a subscription page or whatever you want to do. Uh, and that's all. Hope you learned something and have a nice day.